Good afternoon, good afternoon, everyone. We are coming to you live from Baltimore, Maryland with Jane Unchained News. This is Nadja Wright Brown reporting from the land of Kush. It's the Saturday Smackdown, Smackdown lunch, and we're featuring uh, some food here. We'll have some folks coming in and tasting it. Right now, we are looking at our eggplant. This is the famous eggplant that we had taken off the menu at one time, and folks wanted to fight us about it. So we have the, the, the customer's favorite eggplant with some collard greens and potato salad. We're gonna have some guests come in and try that. Uh, and then we're looking at over here, our signature Kush barbecue ribs, jollof rice, see the black beans in there and the cucumber and tomato salad uh, and then we have one more dish to show you we can't wait to have these folks try this when they come in this is our these are our drummies so you know how you know, folks who were addicted to uh, fried chicken drumsticks but we don't need to do that anymore we have vegan drummies vegan tenders they taste just as good and they're seasoned with jerk jerk seasoning and we have our famous kale salad and mac and cheese. So this is what we're focusing on today here at the Land of Kush. Uh, it's been uh, quite busy now, even during the pandemic. We are happy to be open and um, able to support our community with uh, the great vegan soul food that we provide. We're going to be talking to executive chef Gregory Brown in a moment. Um, We've gotten some new art in since we last spoke. So we've had the community donate some new art. We featured the uh, art on the wall, as you can see here. And you have Common, Tupac, um, and uh, some other famous artists on the wall. So we are definitely known for our art. We have um, some great pieces here. And once we get Gregory Brown out, oh, there you go. What's going on, Chef? Huh? Chef K. Ron, what's going on? You working hard back there? Yeah. Tell, tell, tell us about how's it been since the pandemic started and, and, and what's going on. At first it was rough, but you know, once, once you got the good food, you know people ain't going to be able to keep themselves away. You know? Exactly, so, exactly. We appreciate the you too. The food speaks for itself. The food speaks for itself. Come on down. All right. All right, here we got, we got Chef Gregory Brown. Talk to us about how's it been going down at the Land of Kush. Uh, it's been it's been going. We've been we, we, we're able to maintain, still stay alive, and um, and still provide food for the people out here. So, how, how have you been doing that? Um, working hard and just um, just being attentive to everybody's needs and everything. We've been staying on the um, the delivery services, uh, <laughs> Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Postmates. Um, so all those platforms have been very supportive of us and how we motivate. Uh, through these trying times. How, how, what changes have you had to make since, because um, we're going on, this is uh, what our second month, or month and a half of this? Yes. What, which, what, what major changes have you had to make? What challenges have you faced? Are you, are you losing money still? Are you still trying to, build, like what, what's actually going on? Yes, we're still losing money. <laughs> yes, we're, I mean, with sales are down, uh, you know, I mean, but luckily we've been able to find some stability and losing and, and uh, sales going down. But of course we've had to adjust employee hours, had to cut back employee hours. Um, we've been able to maintain our regular hours as far as the restaurant, but just managing staff hours and um, and just moving like that, motivating like that and just trying to be in customers' faces and tell them we appreciate them ordering, whether it's uh, through the platform or whether it's coming into the store how they support us, whether it's buying gift cards, we appreciate all of it. Awesome, awesome. Anything else you'd like to say or add? I know we got some guests coming in, uh, some artists, and we're going to be talking to them soon. They're going to be trying out food. Okay. Um. <laughs> all right, no, have fun. Uh, come see us, 840 North Utah Street, Baltimore, Maryland. Find us on the web, Land of Fish, uh, thelandofkush.com, Facebook, Instagram. Check us out, please. All right, all right. Uh, and here I am, uh, Nadja Wright Brown reporting. So some of the things that the community is doing for us at the Land of Kush, we want to give a shout out to 
downtown partnership of Baltimore. They are selling our gift cards at a $10 extra value. So if you buy a gift card at um, curbsidebaltimore.com for $20, they're going to send you a $30 gift certificate. And I think that is great support from um, Downtown Partnership. So we really, really appreciate their support. We've been getting flooded with uh, e-gift cards because of their support, and we want to keep that going. So it's curbsidebaltimore.com. You can buy a $20 gift certificate, and they will send you twenty uh, $30 in a gift certificate, they will email it to you. Okay, so that's a, that's definitely a good way to support. You can send it to to your friend, um, or you can come in and redeem it yourself. So we appreciate that. We do have some guests coming in from out of town that's going to come sit down good, for the SmackDown and try the food. So here they are. Let me let let uh, let you um, meet them. Oh, hello, everybody. We we got some plates here for you. Let me start with uh, DJ. DJ Prince, do you want to talk to the fans? We're live on Jane Unchained oh. News, Nigel Wright Brown reporting. What's going on? What brings you into town? Oh, I'm just here, like, visiting my oh, we gotta family. we got to be able to oh. hear you. <laughs> oh, I'm just visiting my family. Um, you can go to my Instagram, DJ Prince OEO. Um, so you're visiting your family. Where are you coming in from? L.A. L.A. You're coming in all the way from L.A. to the land of Kush. Why? Uh, because I like vegan food, so um, you like vegan food. Actually, 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 I don't eat red meat, so you don't eat red meat. Yeah. Are you vegan? I mean, I just started, so I'm still, you know. You're starting the journey, yeah. and you yeah. decided to start at the Land of Kush. Yeah. That's that's awesome. What what? How has it been on the um, entertainment end? Like, um, have you been? Everyone, have you, yeah. Everybody's been like, everybody's been working from home and stuff, so um, pretty much. Like we've been like quarantining ourselves and like making beats from home and stuff like that. So. You've been quarantining yourself and just doing things from home. Okay, what do you do as a, D a DJ so everybody knows? What oh, exactly are I mean, you doing? I mean, I make beats for different rappers and stuff like that. You make beats for different yeah. rappers. What rappers? Um, I mean, uh, I produce for Megadeth, Stallion, Party Next Door, uh, Drake, and uh, a lot of other people. You go on my Instagram. My Instagram is okay. DJ it's OVO, and okay. my Twitter is the same thing. Okay. Yeah. All right. You know, we have a couple of plates here. You can pick and choose. Do you like eggplant parm? Yes. Okay. This is an eggplant parm dish right here with some collard greens and potato salad. And then over there are our signature ribs. I was just featuring the signature ribs and the um, jollof rice and the cucumber and tomato salad. And then we have the jerk chicken tenders here with kale salad and... Um, Mac and cheese. So I know you've got a team in here with you. You know, everybody can feel free to sit down and, and try what they want to try. You have to all try some things together. We can get some little plates for y'all if y'all want to share. How about that? You want to sit down and try it out? Let me know what you think. Okay. Let's get. Do we have any plates where they can um, just yeah? Let's get some let's get some plates. We got some other folks coming in. Does anybody want to get on live and tell us how they've been doing during this pandemic? No, nobody wants to talk about it. You just want to eat. <laughs> do you want to talk about it? What, you're with um, DJ Prince. What are you doing with with the group? What is your? Um, so he's my boyfriend. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So you're the queen. Yeah. Are you vegan? Um, I actually um went vegan for like. Three months. It was really hard. Like I went Why was it hard? Food. It's real simple. It's yeah, I'm food. just not used to it. <laughs> You're not used to it. What were you eating while you were vegan? Um, so I would go to um, what store was that? In LA. This is in LA. Mm -mm. Okay, this where? is like in um, Houston. In Houston, Texas. Yeah, I went to um, I think it was like Whole Foods, and they had like all these vegan dinners, and like I tried looking up online like different recipes. Okay. Just you know, at home, just experimenting. I felt so much better. Like the three months, like my skin changed. Like, but why'd you stop? Because I don't know. You just get stuck into your old ways. So it's like, did you know? Have you ever seen this guy? Has anybody seen this guy? African American vegan starter guy by Tracy McCorder. I'm gonna give this to you. Thank you. Because I think this now is the time. It's an opportunity to get back into uh, veganism and eating eating well. You know, we understand this is, this pandemic started because of wet markets, right? You know, it's animals. You know, animals are starting a lot of diseases, and we need to get back into eating healthy, uh, plant-based, 
vegan food, right? So I'm giving you that guide so you can start there because Tracy McWhorter, uh, her website is by any means necessary. She's done a great job at providing this guide for folks, you know, helping them on their journey towards veganism. Yeah. Okay? Oh, but what we got going on? We got a whole conversation. Oh, okay. What are you all talking about? Did you try it? Yeah, you yeah, trying the food? What's what's happening? Uh, he he likes he likes the food, so he likes the food. Kinda, yeah, he's just kind of digging in, asking a couple questions. Okay, what, I want to capture those questions. What's happening? You're not capturing those questions. I, I know because I'm talking. I'm talking. Okay, he's eating the food. I know. This is the first time trying the food. How is it, the DJ Prince? Yeah, like you like that? Really you know, you know, like know what we've heard? Green. Folks that don't like eggplant love our eggplant parmesan. It is amazing. Really amazing, amazing stuff here. So awesome. just getting people educated on, you know, the whole vegan thing. And How we educate? He was just asking if it, if it makes your skin clearer. I was like, absolutely. Maintain drinking the water. Half your body weight in ounces of water. That's what everybody recommends. So Yeah, I used to be um, an acne baby, so I know. This definitely is clear. My, I was acne all in my um, adolescence. <laughs> so definitely, I mean, I had acne in the face, though, the chest, the back, everywhere. Yeah, so absolutely. definitely uh, clears, clears that up. And if you're, you're consuming dairy, Dairy is an inflammatory, and um, a lot of folks don't realize that you know you can be getting a lot of elements because of consumption of dairy. Okay, did you know that? Okay, definitely. I gave your girlfriend the African American Vegan Starter Guide. Definitely, definitely look at that. So you trying something over there? I didn't catch your name. I was nervous. Yeah. What are, What are you? What? What? Um, these are the ribs. Correctly. Those are the ribs. Yeah, that's made of a soy protein, so that's actually a firm texture of soy. Yeah. This yeah, is with like our really own barbecue good. sauce. This is so good. I was nervous. You was nervous? You wasn't sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's it's def it's not difficult being vegan. I think people make it difficult by um, these preconceived notions of what vegan is. Vegan is beans, legumes, fruits, vegetables, mm -hmm. grains, nuts, it's and so, seeds. It's, so it's so not even complicated. You can you know you can make some some rice and beans. Look at that rice and beans right there in the salad. I love it. You know what I'm saying? Salad. And throw together some uh, a protein. We have lentil patties if you don't want to. If you're soy adverse or if you're wheat adverse, you have lentil beans that you can uh, make food out of. There's all types of things right now in this day and age where you can um, make yourself a real tasty. Uh, vegan meal and I think we do a great job here at the land of Kush. This looks really Me good. Too. So again, this is Nadja Wright Brown live with Jane Unchained reporting for this Saturday Smackdown where we have folks coming in and smacking down. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I see you came with the group. You're not eating anything? We got yeah, some drummies uh, over there. Okay, who, who, who? Are, oh, you're fasting. fasting okay, yeah, well, yeah, tell well, us what you do for, for DJ Prince. I'm DJ Prince's driver, you know. So when he heard about his place, he told me I got to bring him over here. So he, you got, he, he said you got to bring I him got, over yeah, here. It's got to be done. Me, yeah, so, uh, you know, I mean, so he put all effort to show that, you know, he can get here okay. to try out the food here. So this is the reason why we are here. Okay, but yeah. you're fasting right now. Yeah, so I you, am. Do you need yes. some water? Can we get you some water or some ice? You're good right now? Okay, great. Are you vegan? That? Are you vegan? Uh, am I a vegan? Uh, yeah. yeah, I do. You do? Yeah. You're off and on, vegetarian. Yes. Yeah. The Saturday snack down. I'm right. sorry, Saturday sure. snack down. That's uh -huh. not, I'm saying it's <laughs> Well, we're smacking down here, Tom. <laughs> we're smacking and smacking right. down. Uh, we're yes. smacking our lips. <laughs> Thank you for that, Tom. I appreciate it. Um, so the conversation over here is that okay? So we got the, the girlfriend oh digging in on the in the eggplant parmesan. She don't even care. She like let's, let's get up. She like listen. Uh, I'm not shy. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is this is a different texture that I wasn't ready for, but it really does taste good. This yeah, that's our eggplant. homemade cheese. Yeah, it's, a, it's an eggplant. Uh, it's gluten free and it has our homemade cheese in it. And um, we make our own cheese in house uh, with some tofu. We blend it up uh, with some seasonings, and then we bake it. We also do the same thing with our mac and cheese as well. So, do you guys offer like um, meals to go? Yeah, you can carry out. I mean, I mean you're talking like, about uh, like for like meal plans. Oh, oh meal, like when meal? I was transitioning, like I would like make a big meal, and then like I would like freeze my leftovers. Oh, okay. So, so I you could just like make it quick because I was like always on. You were always hungry? I don't think I was doing it right. Okay, well, my, my husband uh, does a good job with bulk, um, bulk, 
cooking, okay? You know, he came up with uh, a lot of the recipes here. I made some suggestions about the, the whole vegan soul concept because if we want the community to, to, uh, to be interested in what we're doing here, we have to have foods that they're familiar with. Do you agree? Because yeah. they're not familiar. A lot of people think vegan food is uh, rabbit food. Like we're out here just eating some raw <laughs> carrots and stuff like that. Food. But some people do eat raw foods. Yeah, there are raw foods that are vegans. But if you're into that home cooked meals, like all of this stuff in here is vegan. We got vegan potato salad. We got the collard greens. We got yams, baked mac and cheese. Um, you know, the eggplant, as you can see, uh, the drummies, you know, the, the, the vegan tenders that people like to eat. So we have those with different. We even have award winning crab cakes as well. That's what I saw. So, yeah, so, you know, you, it, you know it's just a matter of uh, research and, and um, uh, flavor. It's all about the sauce, baby. All about the sauce. He's probably, he's probably okay, y'all having your own conversation over here. How's the drummies? It was good. It tastes like fish, though, that's in there, though. That tastes yeah, like fish? It's like a fish yeah. stick. It's like a fish stick? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. It's, good, it's not too bad. It's good. It's like you a fish stick. You're going to get an elbow, bro. We need it. Just come in here and try that, You're too. You're going to get an elbow. Okay, okay. <laughs> Move, get out the way, get out the way. <laughs> that's, that's awesome, that's awesome. Well, uh, Greg, what would you suggest? So, uh, DJ Prince's girlfriend, um, you know, stopped going vegan because she thought it was difficult and she didn't know how to uh, fill, fill herself up. What, what would you recommend? Huh. Were you cooking for yourself or was it just eating out all the time? So, like, um, there were a couple restaurants that had some good choices, but, like, it's kind of expensive, like, getting fresh food. That's one thing. Not everybody likes to count calories, but <laughs> but I get it. So five main things: beans, grains, vegetables, fruits, nuts, and seeds. When we just saying that, didn't I just say that it's, it's just basic? <laughs> so that's that's what you that's what you kind of like. If you're gonna be cooking for yourself, now when you go out places, you just gotta find spots. I know LA got a lot of spots that's that's vegan. I mean, we found a Cuban spot that had vegan food out there. So you got a lot of different spots. But as far as like your macronutrients, make sure you got your protein, your complex carbs, you still come from your grains and stuff like that, like different like rice, quinoa, milk. Oh, okay. You love quinoa, mm -hmm. me too. Nah, it can go both ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can go sweet or it can go, yeah, sweet, we, yeah. or it can go savory. We, we, yeah, we, spicy. Yeah. we got somebody out there. Okay, we got somebody out there that's saying count your blessings, not calories, right? Yeah, yeah. There's a blessing that we're out that's here and we're living and we need to eat eat eat, eat better. You gotta count Absolutely. Calories. Well it's just you know, I was working out at the time. Sure. So it was like I wanted to make sure I got enough coming in and yeah. out. So it's a couple of people out there. It's a it's a bodybuilder named Tory Washington. Um, Tory Washington, we love Tory Washington. So Tory's a really good dude, but he's a bodybuilder. So he really knows nutrition stuff. Um, him, I'm trying to think. It's a David of, like, Carter. David Carter. It's a couple of like really solid people around the nutrition um, and, and things like that. that just in general, I would say like your beans, your grains, nuts and seeds, fruits, and vegetables. And maybe you do gotta eat a couple more calories. Maybe you do gotta fill up because you're not eating uh -huh. enough calories. Or maybe you gotta piece meal. Right? Will Tucker. So some people will say like do small meals throughout the day. Mm, maybe that works for me. Yeah, that works that kind of works for me too, because like I'm always I'm always on the go. That's why yeah. I like the frozen meals so I can just like pop, pop them in the oven, and yeah. Like yeah. Back but just trying to have some fresh stuff lined up. So is it like smoothies? Like is it like vegan smoothies? Or like, oh yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. So, so which ones do you recommend? Like the vegan smoothies. Me, I like uh, my favorite here is like we do like this. Um, we do uh, pina colada dreams. So it's pineapple, banana, coconut milk, and um, and mango. 
but then I also do one with like different like powders. So like I'll do moringa, maca, turmeric, pineapple, which like this particular smoothie is good for like inflammation. Like so when you work out, you know how you get sore and stuff like that, take it down to inflammation. So like the pineapple, kale, banana, like the moringa. So you can add, so it's different like, uh, supplements or superfoods that you can put in your smoothies. But I generally like anything green, um, anything with pineapple, you know, that kind of thing. And you can mix it up depending on where you are, what type of weather. Like, so you, y'all out in LA, so you got more temperate, more average like weather. So it's like te generally warm out there. Like here we go through changes. So I'm not gonna do a bunch of cold smoothies in the winter time. You know what I'm saying? But like out there, you can do that because you're not getting that cold out there unless you're really northern California, right? So, um, but I like anything green. So, anything green, you can add your almond milk. Do you drink, do you drink some, do you drink Yeah, usually after I come from working out, like usually, like I train in the morning, and then usually as soon as I get back, because I'm hungry, and I may not want to cook right away, so I usually make one of those smoothies real quick. But I usually this, have a smoothie before I work out, a protein smoothie. Yeah, Garden Garden of Life is really good. I have their, yeah, and it really helps. Because I can't eat heavy or anything before I work out. And if you really want that protein supplement, I would add hemp seeds. Hemp seeds to hemp seeds are really high in protein. And you can add those to your smoothies, and it's a great way to get your protein in. Because you, you, you probably want to go a lot. You're probably traveling a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? Or you just moving, you might be in the studio. It's easy to throw together like, like something with some hemp seeds, some banana, pineapple, kale. You know, you don't need that much. You can bang, bang, bang out a smoothie and just drink that over a period of time. And then also, um, like I said, make sure you get in the water. Like the water is like a major thing. Like a lot of people are exactly mm -hmm. So just making sure you're drinking your water. So, mm -hmm. You know, but I think a lot of people make it more complicated than what it is. Because it just seemed like, just because you don't know it, right? It just, it's like, oh, all this information, and I see all this pretty food, and, um, you know, X, Y, and Z. But, um, just really simplify. <laughs> Start off with your, with your smoothies and stuff like that. Add simple stuff like the hemp seeds. Um, but if you're looking they, for... They came like, here for education, Tom. He's saying, know, right? he said, let her eat, her food's getting cold. They came to be educated, too. They want to eat, they get educated. It's another, it's another sister thing. Um, Charity Morgan, she cooks for the Tennessee Titans. Charity Morgan, her, yes. Her, um, her husband plays for the Tennessee Titans. And if you ever watched the documentary Game Changers. Game Changers. <laughs> she, um, Watch Game Changers. <laughs> but, um, and New Day, Charity, New Chef. Okay, Jane has a oh, New Day, New Titans. Chef on Amazon. And if you follow her on Instagram. Amazon her Prime. Her recipes and her pictures of food, slamming. So... You know, just some, or you can reach out. You can reach out to us directly. I, I'm gonna have you get tips. You know, things with you. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know how, you so, know, I don't know how people feel about that. You gotta finish eating this food. We got the, uh, the okay, back to the eggplant. And back to the ribs. Feature. Like everyone loves these ribs. When we first came out into the market and we were vending at festivals, like this is the this is the item that everyone craved. Like the ribs were the best thing. Everyone loved the ribs. Well, you know, we took the ribs. We were out on the ribs, right out of the ribs. People would get so upset. Yes, John Sally is in episode one of New Day New Chef. Doesn't everybody know that? John John Sally. You gotta watch that new day, new chef. John Sally is in John episode City one, the football, the basketball player. What, what else do you want to say, DJ Prince, while you're in town? Because I know you were oh, eager to get here. I just want to make sure that you get your message out. I, mean, I just want people to say, no, you just you know, keep God first. Are you from LA? Keep God first. Keep yeah, God first. Like, and then just always understand that, like. You know, he was created to be great, so whatever your dream is, follow your dreams. And, follow your dreams, you know, yes. Like, understand that, you know, God is releasing a plague on this earth to make everybody wake up and understand that he's not playing with them right so. Yes, and the so. God doesn't want us destroying this earth, so we got to take care of our temple, which is the body. Yeah. And once we do that, if we take care of the body and we take care of the animals, we take care of the earth, our health, then this will be a better place. We don't have to deal with the corona COVID-19 virus. <laughs> 
Yeah. We need to do something it's about crazy. this. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. You know, it's a new world order right now with these masks and social distancing. It's ridiculous. Yeah. All because of the wet markets and the animal farming and all this other craziness. We, yeah. we got to do better out here. Yeah. 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 Any, any last words before I start looking I mean, at more food? Uh, <laughs> no, that's it. They're going to follow you where? If you oh, want to know about me, what. You can follow me on Twitter at DJ. Prince OVO and on Instagram, DJ Prince OVO on Instagram. Uh, and follow me. That's it. Hey, DJ Prince is a producer, a DJ. He's, he's, he's doing music for hip hop artists and all type of stuff. So definitely check him out. We appreciate you looking us up because they were reaching out to me last week when the site was down. We had a site yeah, outage. I, know. I, know. I try to give you something I, and it got like. I, I, I said, got hey, cool. Me, let me know. Don't even, you know, we're going to take care of everything, so don't worry about it. We have all this stuff and some more stuff. Like take. <laughs> His name is DJ Prince, not Fresh Prince. I mean, he's fresh, but he's DJ Prince, okay? He's fresh. Um, but, I mean, he got... Let's see what else he has. He has my contact info, so, I mean, feel free to... Oh, you in there? You want to say something? You make sure you don't. Okay, I got it. The security. Can I just show you who you are? This is DJ Prince's security. I thought he was waiting for an order, but he's basically telling us, "Look, just make sure he's alright, because I will hurt you if you do something to him." Okay, we're gonna take. We we taking good care of him, right? Okay. So that's DJ Prince's security, and you know he's making sure that you know we don't do anything crazy to him. We're not. Let's look at some more food. Let me go back there and see what's going on. Davon's taking a call now. Davon, how is how is this pandemic been treating you? At the store. What's been going on at the Land of Kush? We're giving you a headache. Oh, it has its ups and downs? Yes. Okay, mainly, you're telling on us what's no, going on. Mainly, mainly we're prevailing. We're prevailing, yes. right? Yes, ma'am. How was it the first week to what's going on right now? Uh, when this whole yeah, thing started little, to what's happening now? When it first started off, it was a little slow. And now it's like everything is picking up more, you know, more people coming in. That's more people coming in. So you like it like that, right? Yes, yes. You like the people coming in? Yes. Okay. Awesome. I know they like seeing you here even though they're giving you a hard time. No, they don't give me a hard time. Everybody is fine. You know? Everybody's fine. Okay, let's take a look at what's going on with some of this food back there. Let me just see see put the put the eyes on me. And um, I appreciate you all viewing. I know you could be looking at anything else all day. And um, when I first shot uh, a live <laughs> during the first week of the pandemic, I didn't know what to do because I, it just, you know, it was just so dead. Um, but it, it definitely has been picking up and we're happy and we're appreciative of that. And um, we, we hope it continues. Again, we, we appreciate all the, so yes, I'm, I'm here, Tom. Sometimes I do get on. <laughs> So sometimes I do get on. Um, uh, I'm just gonna see what's going on back here. No one's making any smoothies, so I can't show you any smoothies. This is a Saturday snack down with Jane Unchained, and um, we have somebody that wants to know if you're ready to eat because they want to make sure you got sustenance. I mean, can we get you anything, DJ Prince? But he's he's all right, Tom. He said he's doing all right. He just want to make sure everything is in order. So um, there's, there's no, no smoothies being made here. All we have is Khalil, Khalil chopping up some uh, carrots. Khalil is uh, one of our new employees. Khalil, you want to say something for the folks out here? Uh, if you don't want to, that's fine. You, he doesn't want to get on camera, you know, so he's a little shy. But Khalil, uh, he's been working here since um, for a couple of months. And the cooks are back there cooking. You, you see Khalil behind me, right? So we did get the shot. Khalil's back there cutting some some carrots he doesn't want to talk to anybody uh so we'll go back out front and then see who else we can we can capture here just some happy conversation going on with greg i'm gonna try to move from the light because that sunlight is messing up the view so like it was like like i came down to let my staff in i'm not telling them any story sweetie a story about what is it about the food it's not about what we had here it's not about me it's not about the oh, okay. Well, my, our daughter is down here sitting. She's playing with her laptop. Bia, do you want to say any anything to the viewers about being vegan? You don't want to say anything? She's just minding her business. Pia doesn't want to talk to anybody about being vegan. Okay? Not right now. Not today. 
<laughs> okay, so once again, you can support us. You can support us wherever you're at. If you just want to support the land of cushion, send yourself a friend. Send yourself or a friend an e gift card. I'd say go to curbsidebaltimore.com and get that $20 gift card so you can get sent $30 before that offer runs out. So it's curbsidebaltimore.com. Uh, and if you have a hard time finding out, just, just go to um, thelandofcush.com. It'll pop up right in your face, the special offer. $20 gift card for $30. Dollars, okay. I'm sorry, thirty dollar gift card for twenty dollars. Just go to thelandofcush.com. That's a very good way to support us. Yes, we are down, um, you know, in, in revenue because of catering deals that we we're we're not um, we're not able to honor because of the pandemic. So we are open. A lot of our friends have closed. Some of our close friends have had to close down, if not temporarily, permanently because of this pandemic. Um, and these were vegan establishments. So if you want to keep the vegan establishments um, open, uh, please show your support. Uh, you can come in and carry out. Just have your mask on. You need your mask. You have to have your mask. Uh, practice the uh, six feet social distancing rules that we have posted in the store. Um, stay six feet, six feet from people, other people, all times in the store. Uh, so please just follow those rules by the Baltimore City Health Department. Uh, we appreciate uh, your support uh, and cooperation on that. So wear your mask, stay six feet away from other people. Uh, support us online if you can't get in here or do your your delivery and pickup uh, at uh, DoorDash, Grubhub. Again, all this stuff can be found at thelandofcush.com. Uh, you, you definitely um, are appreciated for um, tuning in to this uh, Saturday Snackdown uh, on Jane Unchained News, Naja Wright Brown reporting. Uh, <laughs> you could be doing anything else. I hope you all went out. I went out with my daughter. So she could scooter for uh, 45 minutes before we start this live because, uh, you know, you need to get out. You, you definitely need to get out. You need to take care of your health, get the vitamin D, uh, eat well. And they're taking all that. I want the ribs, too. I want to eat, too. Okay. Any questions? If any of the viewers, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm here to answer questions. Uh, I will be interviewing... Uh, starting uh, next week, we're going to have some special guests on live uh, on the YouTube on Jane and Shane. So uh, stay tuned for that. So I'm really excited about that opportunity. We will be doing interviews live starting next week through uh, several um, mediums. So I can't wait. I'm just showing y'all some, some art because this is what keeps us up. This is what keeps us uh, going. The new art that's been donated to us. And um, hey, you're just in time. Look what we got here. Come on in. No, you, no, 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 hello. Who are you? Oh, hello. Who? Can't show that on camera. Okay. Uh, what is going on? I want to get you out the sunlight because I got to see you. Uh, we're live on Jane Unchained News, wow. Naja Wright Brown reporting. What's awesome. going on? Who are you? Why are you here? <laughs> I am Brenda Sanders, co-owner of The Greener Kitchen, Vegan Deli in Baltimore, and I'm here because... Where's that? Where's The oh, Greener Kitchen? Um, in Pigtown, in okay. Baltimore, 803 okay. Washington Boulevard. What do y'all do over there? Um, it's a vegan deli. We make deli food, uh, subs and cold cuts and um, salads and just... All vegan, all plant-based, all delicious. You're doing some big things. We got uh, we got some of your stuff for the crab cakes. So now the award-winning crab cakes are being made by Greener Kitchen product, everybody. So, hey, Woo! we're supporting local. Yay! <laughs> and everyone's loving it, okay? So, yeah, we're using Greener Kitchen um, product for our v uh, crab cakes right now. But because of the de pandemic, our product, we couldn't get it anymore. So now we're working with the Greener Kitchen on... Um, 
uh, their product for our crab cake. So if anybody doesn't know, you know now, we use Ingredient Kitchen product for our award-winning vegan crab cakes. What else you want to say, Brenda? I know you came to eat, but... Um, that I came to eat, and <laughs> I'm very excited to be here at the Land of Kush. Um, How can people can find you, follow uh, you, because I know you got a lot of stuff going on. Oh. Come on, this um, line, you got to tell everybody this opportunity, let everybody know what's going on. Okay. Brenda's um, being shy. Brenda is my partner in the I'm Vegan cool. Soul Fest. If anybody knows what Vegan Soul Fest is, then you know what it is. If you don't, vegansoulfest.com. Go to the website, vegansoulfest.com. We have done Vegan Soul Fest for seven years. Well, hopefully seven years. Yeah. Maybe we'll do it this year. I don't know what's going to happen. But it's been the premier vegan festival in Baltimore. And Brenda's being shy about that. And then she also has a lot of other initiatives that she's working. Tell everybody what's going on. And then I can eat. And then you can eat. Okay. <laughs> so I'm also executive director of Afro Vegan Society, which is an organization uh, with the mission to expand uh, veganism to marginalized communities, um, as well as Thrive Baltimore, which is a community center where we do vegan programming, um, classes, events, workshops, or rather we will be once we come out of the house again. <laughs> so, Brenda's doing wonderful things. She's always in the news, veg news, all news, so you definitely look around. Up. Uh, she's doing great things in the community and all over. So I'm so happy that you came here at the right time when we were filming DJ Prince, the uh, producer, you know, and all sorts of stuff. So we're having a good time. You see his body guy. You don't, oh, you don't mess so with him. <laughs> he's like, nobody better go touch him. <laughs> so he's like, he's not eating yet until all this is over. With. So um, it's good to see you, Brenda. Uh, go, go ahead and eat. I don't want to trouble you. I just didn't want to miss this opportunity to let people know what's going on with you and what you're doing, okay? Yes. Great thing. Sending blessings your way and to your daughter as well. <laughs> All right, take care. All right. So we're going to be signing off soon. I just wanted to make sure there wasn't anything else I needed to catch. Y'all in some other conversation, not about food, huh? Uh, everything. We talking about food. Y'all talking about, about food? Everything. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to sign off. Uh, DJ Prince, definitely thank you. And thank you for, because you didn't tell me your name. Liz. Liz, thank you for coming out. Please, don't, you know, be strangers. Y'all got my number. Reach out. Let me know, you know, because we do events and things like that. Now we can stay connected, all right? All right. Thank you for coming down. I appreciate it. Any last words, Greg? I love you. Oh, I love you, too. And I love everybody out there that is uh, checking us out now live with Jane Unchained News. And um, peace out. Catch me. Peace out. Be safe, wear your mask, and stay healthy, drink water, and get that vitamin D. Love you. Peace out.